Hey guys, it's Amanda from Vintage Junk to Funk. I'm going to show you how to put stencils on my piece of furniture using Dixie Belle mud. Um, so all you need is this and um, put it on a little tray and then just a plastic spatula slash um, wood, no I'm sorry, like a plastic knife palette palette knife whatever and so i'm going to be putting this stencil on i got it off amazon i'll link it down below in the description box it's a um like a half of a mandala and i'm going to be putting it on each corner on each corner of this dresser that i just made or painted i should say so i'm going to take a scoop of my Dixie Mud. And um, I taped down two of the sides. And I'm gonna hold it really tight as well. I'm gonna hold it up here. And then I'm just going to put it on. So I'm gonna be doing a raised, raised stencil on this piece on all four corners I might be able I might be only might only be able to show you how to do one corner because I have to go wash this stencil after I use it um, and that may take a few minutes but at least I can show you how to do one side and what it looks like And I'm trying not to drag it or lift it to where it goes underneath the stencil because I want really crisp lines. And this stencil it has very small lines in it. So I'm trying really hard that it doesn't go underneath the stencil and get all messy looking. So right now I am just scraping off the excess. and making it even and then you want to pull it up right away okay now this Dixie Mud does come in three different colors this is the white color And that's what it looks like. That looks really good. I'm very impressed. And if you get some on the side, you can just wipe it off. Just like that. All right, so now I just flipped it over and I'm doing the other corner. Hopefully it's straight. <laughs> That's my biggest concern is that it's straight.
Okay, the moment of truth. Yeah, they're pretty even. So there's that side. There's that side. Looking pretty good. All right, so now we are going to be doing the bottoms. So this is the bottom drawer. That was the top. That one up there. Oh my God, that's so hard. That was the top. I should have took out the um, knobs when I painted, but I didn't, but it's not a big deal because when I put them back in, you won't be able to see them anyways so you just repeat the process <clears throat> make sure it's nice and flat already messed up there but got a big gunk underneath there. I knew that was gonna happen. This is why we do lives because things happen. Or not lives but this is why we do videos because accidents happen and you can see how we can fix them. I also do live videos on my Facebook page, which I will link down below. Right, the moment of truth. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so that's what the bottom to look like. That's what the top two look like. You guys, this is just the beginning. If you want to know the colors I used, I used palmetto on the bottom, palmetto green on the bottom. I used mermaid towel in the center. And then I mixed in sea glass with the two of those for the top. 
So sea glass mixed in with mermaid tail and palmet palmetto. This is mermaid tail, and then this is palmetto with the Dixie Belle mud for arranged stencils. My next video will show you um, how I paint them. I'll probably sand them down a little bit. I'll paint them. I'll do some gilding wax on them. And um, yeah, just go from there. So I'll see you guys in my next video.